Pas au vinaigre, pour vous n'apparaître. Je suis normal et juste au print banners. So when he hit me with the gun, I saw six, seven soldiers also coming coming towards me. So one of them, he pushed me to get inside the office. So when he pushed me, they gave me a chiato seat. He said, you are, the, you are the very one bringing confusion in the country. Who told you Gambia has decided? What did Gambia decide? Just tell me what did Gambia decide? So when he said that, I look at him, I couldn't respond, and the other guy also come and hit me with the gun for the second time in my knees here. So, when that happens, they notice that I printed some shots and, and hide it on the other side of my desk. So they started packing the shots. So they took almost 405 shots. So the 200 shots was for the collision, and the remaining 35 was for the lady, and the remaining shots was the one I was using to, to sell. So they took everything. So when they took the shots inside their pickups, they came inside the office again. They destroyed my computers, my printers, and my heater press machine. They destroyed everything. I don't, I don't know them because some of them, they were on mask. I don't know where we were going until I reached Banjul. So that was the first day I, I, I know this is NIA. So they took us to the NIA. And but but before, before, yeah, before, before we reached Banjul, they were torturing me. Inside the, inside, the, inside the vehicle, hitting me with their guns. And one of them said, what, what's your name? Told him, Tijan. Said, your surname? Said, Baro. Said, your surname will not favor you. You will spend your life in jail. We will kill you and Baro. And you will print these t-shirts in hell. So what was remarkable about, remarkable about Jamé's election defeat is that despite that crackdown, despite the arrest of people like Mr. Jabang, the opposition was still able to come through uh, and win this election. We then saw after Jamé's refusal to step down, a kind of new wave of resistance with this, this famous and very inspiring Gambia has decided movement uh, that was showing opposition to Jamé's decision on the streets. And I think he saw that as something that was sort of getting out of hand for him, something that was showing that perhaps the end was nigh. And so he did also crack down on them. He arrested people simply for wearing Gambia Has Decided t-shirts, people who were picked up, beaten, uh, and then released a few days later, or picked up and who spent a bit more time in, in detention. Pre -camp, like around the campaign, and then yeah, about be. a dozen or, or so. Well, I think, first of all, it was a sign that the, sec that the security forces saw the writing was on the wall. They saw uh, Echo Mog forces literally at the gates uh, of Jamie's government and a sign that ultimately this would be over. And so they wanted to show their commitment to a more peaceful and, and more democratic Gambia. Uh, what we hope is that as the coalition moves forward and, and Barrow has already said that other political prisoners, including those who remain in Gambia's notorious mile two prison, will ultimately be released. And that that will be a sign of a more open society in which those who express even dissent to Barrow as he inevitably makes the decisions that uh, displease Gambians as well as those that don't, that he allows peaceful and free expression and doesn't lock people up simply for having opposing views.